Okay, we have Queen of Wands. Yeah. This could be you and this Queen of Wands energy. Um, chasing after whatever it is that you want out of life. Whatever goals you have set. You know, very um, goal-oriented. You know, um, very talented and gifted. So it's like you're using... Whatever you have set, your talents or whatever gifts that you have, you have, you know, used them. You're starting to use them or you have used them for different goals that you want out of life. Different goals that you have set and you're just, you know, standing up, leading your life and going after whatever goals that you have set. You know, with a heavy passion. Someone is very attractive, you know, as well. Very outgoing and attracts a lot of attention, you know, in a positive way. Because of the life you lead, because of the confidence you have, because of the leader that you are by yourself. Yeah, Four of Wands is here. Somebody could want to come in union with you. This is all about coming in union with, you know, your soul and spirit, having a stable foundation. Home life. Someone could come, want to, you know, that's attracted to you, could want to come around you, come in union with you, come to your home. They look at you as someone that's very stable. This also could just mean that, you know, you have a stable foundation. And that's why you're in this Queen of Wands energy. You have a lot of passion for whatever you want out of life, and that's to keep, you know, a stable foundation. Ten of Wands is here. You could have felt weighed down. Or someone is feeling weighed down to come in union with you. Yeah, or come around you. They're feeling pressure to come towards you. Yeah, four of, four of Swords is here and then Page of Wands. So it's like they've been away from you. They've been in isolation. They've been in solitude. This could be you in, a, in isolation and in solitude and you feeling pressure to go, you know, towards someone. Come in union with them. You've been rehabilitating, reevaluating life and healing from whatever, you know, trauma that you have been through. And you want to communicate and connect with this person, Page of Wands. And you want to move quickly towards this person. The Eight of Wands is here. You could have got some type of message from this person. Or you want to message this person. Like, you know, through text, through email, through, you know, social media with this Eight of Wands. Yeah, the Sun card is here. A lot of stuff came to light. A lot of stuff got exposed. Things were illuminated behind the scenes. You want to be happy. That's why you want to come towards this person. And you're feeling weighed down. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here. You're feeling weighed down. Um, Because you could have been in an energy where you were always doing stuff without thinking it through. You could have thought you were just going to have sex with this person. Yeah, you see this person have been, you know, working on their self or working on a business or just, you know, overall working. Throwing their self in work. Yeah, Queen of Cups is here. You look at this person as someone that's very emotionally balanced as well. Emotionally mature. You can have a mature conversation with this person. This person is very caring, loving, you know. This person is an empath, very intuitive as well. Very giving, forgiving individual. If they have kids, they're a loving, caring mother. They take care of their kids, you know, pour out love to their kids. Chariot in the reverse. So it's like this chariot in the reverse is all about, you know, not moving forward. 
So it's like you don't want this person to move on or move forward in life. And that could be why you're not moving forward in life. With this chariot in the reverse. Yeah, the emperor is here. <laughs> this person is in their emperor energy. As this could be your divine counterpart as well, but I feel like this is you in this emperor energy. You're manifesting whatever it is you want out of life. You're, you know, attracting, you know, a lot of attention. It's like you're in, you can embody every queen or king in the deck. Like you're balanced out. Very stable. And you're someone that's in the process of just going after whatever it is you want out of life. And you're not even worried about different stuff. Like these Knight of Wands energy that's wanting to just have sex with you. you you're, you're not even worried about that. You're standing up in this boss energy. Because you already know your worth. You know what you deserve. You haven't been through all of that. And you came out on top. A boss, an emperor. One of the most powerful, you know, energies in the deck. And, um, you know, a divine being. And it's like whoever this person is, they don't want you to move forward because they're possibly in love with you. They don't want anyone else to, you know, come toward you or come around you. Or It's like this person is feeling burden and pressure to contact you because they've been isolated away from you. And they could have went through some type of betrayal, ten of swords. And then the empress is here. Yeah, they could have felt like you went through betrayal. They could have betrayed you, whoever this person is that don't want you to move forward. This could be somebody from the past. It could be your divine counterpart. It just This is just overall energy. But this is someone who betrayed you, backstabbed you with multiple people because they didn't want you to move forward in life. And it's like the more and more they didn't want you to move forward in life, they were pinning their self down at the Ten of Swords. And it was just, you know, bossing you up. Yeah, they were keeping their self stuck. Eight of Swords is here. In a self-made prison. You know, binding and blinding to the devil for death. That's oh, as you were healing, the star card is here. Pouring out love to this person. Pouring out love to yourself. You know, you poured out love to everyone. You're a healer. That's why you attract a lot of attention in a positive way. Because you've balanced out events that took place throughout your life. And you were sent to help others do the same. Spiritually teach people. And this person was keeping their self stuck, not wanting you to move forward in life. Yeah, they were trying to strategize. Seven of Swords. Being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. So it's like... As you're at the Seven of Swords, this is overall in general. As you're at the Seven of Swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes, someone is at the Seven of Swords with you. So it's like you immediately get what you put out tenfold. You don't know that this person that is at the Seven of Swords being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes with you because this person that you're being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes with, they don't know. So it's like whatever you do, it come back immediately tenfold. Good or bad. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. You walked away from everybody that was toxic. To fulfill your destiny and your purpose on earth. Toxic patterns, toxic people, toxic relationships, just overall toxicity. You walked away from it. Eight of Cups. Yeah, and Seven of Wands in the reverse. is like, as soon as you know you walked away from... A lot of stuff that was talking, people didn't expect to, you know, go through backfire stuff, backfiring on them, blockages being created for them, stuff that they were doing to their self, not being divinely protected once you walked away from them. They didn't know this. They were just, you know, everything was backfiring on them that they were secretly doing to you. And it's like seven of wands in reverse. They're not being, you know, they didn't want you to block them off, but they're not even being divinely protected because they didn't realize your worth. They didn't know you for... You know, realize who you were, someone that was helping them heal or sent to be, you know, a healer to help them, pour out love to them. They didn't treat you like this, like the star that you are. And that's why you walked away at the Eight of Cups. A lot of people were at the Seven of Swords already being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes because they were intimidated by you. 
You popped out as the queen of wands first. Very stable, four of wands. So you took care of your business. You was a go, you are a go-getter, a hustler. And people, you know, were intimidated by that. But you didn't know. If you did know, it's like you walked away after you started noticing different stuff that was deep in your intuition that was not right. And you're just like, I'm not going to put up with it. I'm genuinely pouring out love to these people. And I don't care who it is. And you start focusing on you and your queen, your kids. Queen of Cups is here. You know, it didn't stop you. And you came out on top as this emperor, empress energy. A boss. Have you ever went through all of this? Just trying to help people. The star is here. Spiritually teach people. Yeah. That were very childish. Page of Pentacles. And they weren't offering you anything. You had to realize a lot of people were childish. They didn't have much to offer you. Whatever they were offering you, you could pour that into yourself tenfold. So it wasn't worth, you know, you draining your energy. But they didn't want to be blocked off from you. They didn't know after you had them walked away from them, they wouldn't be divinely protected. Seven of Wands in the reverse. They would be stuck at the Eight of Swords, binding and blind to the devil for death, that's all. That's why they didn't want you to sail away. I mean, you know, get on this chariot and move forward in life. Yeah, that's the true queen of swords. You're someone that's very smart. You took care of a lot of business for people, business-wise. You're someone that, you know, you spoke the truth to these people. You cut out things that no longer serve purpose in your life because you're someone that's very serious about your life. You're someone that's very loyal and honest. People can trust you. And it's like you couldn't trust nobody. And you just wanted that back. You know, you wanted someone that was like you. And you didn't see that around you no matter who it was. It's like the older you get, the more, the, the, the older you get, the more you learn, the more you know better, you do better. Yeah, justice is here. You wanted justice for yourself. For whatever you had done went through. And you knew it was not right even from when you were a child. That's why you were healing in this star energy. And you didn't care what people thought. You could have with this queen of wands. You could have learned about spirituality. And that put you at a whole nother perspective about life. You became this queen of swords. Speaking the truth. Cutting out things that no longer serve purpose in your life. Because you gained a lot of knowledge. And wisdom that you didn't know. Yeah, Nine of Cups is here. You were at your wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. When, um, you know, all of this happened, after you walked away from different people at the Eight of Cups, you were sitting at the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment by yourself. And all you wanted was justice to be served for something. Stuff that hadn't happened to you that was injustice. And a lot of people were trying to slip you in the reverse from moving forward in life. All because they didn't want to be blocked off from you. Yeah, you're somebody that's very loyal. You're someone that's very committed to people. Very honest. The hair fine is here. You gave a lot of advice to people. You did a lot for people, but you were betrayed. And it's like you cannot stay in a situation being betrayed no matter if it's family members, you know, friends, or associates in your everyday life situationships. Once a person backstabbed you, it's like you didn't even have to do that. I'm sitting back helping you. I'm loyal to you. And that's the type of person you were. So you were just out here getting it in hustler mode, queen of wands, chasing after whatever it is you want out of life. You had them backstabbed by everybody you was trying to help. And they wanted you to feel way down in pressure without their drama, without their chaos, without their negativity. And it did not work. It made you, you know, turn into this emperor empress energy, a boss. One of the most powerful energies in the deck. Can read energy. Knight of Cups is here. Yeah, that's why a lot of people want to connect with you, Knight of Cups. Because you're someone that's very loyal, very honest. Someone that people trust. But it's like, a lot of people betrayed you. And it's hard for, you know, hard for you to trust people. Yeah, now that make people weak. The strength card in the reverse. People don't like that you don't, you know, don't trust them anymore. It's like 
You trusted me. You, you, I'm hearing you never really trusted people. You were just loyal to other people because you knew that people were disloyal to, you know, it's just like this. If you're connected with a family member, somebody that's close to you, you know, you know who they are, you know what type of person they are. And you just like, that's just such and such. You know, I'm not that person. We're two different people, but you still love them from a distance. You didn't judge them for however they got it, however they hustle, however they, you know, did other people because that's their karma. That's what they have to deal with. But you, you had to realize as you were attached to them, it was draining you down, weighing you down. And that's not your burdens to carry. So you had them walked away, eight of cups, from all toxicity, not, no matter who it was. And started focusing on everything you wanted out of life. It is like a lot of people are weak. After betraying you, they're weak. They don't have any strength. They literally thought that they would sit back and just have you be loyal to them and they're secretly disloyal to you, betraying you and backstabbing. No, it don't work like that. You never trusted these people, but you didn't judge these people. These people are people that trusted you, but sat back and judged you because they were intimidated by you. Of who you are, the way you pour out love to people, the way you don't judge people. How trustworthy you are. How you don't play people or snake people or scam people. And it's like now that they don't have the only person that they can trust around them, that makes them weak. You were too loyal to these people. And you weren't getting anything in return. Yeah, that's why a lot of people have, you know, have been watching you, Page of Swords, trying to observe you. Could have been following you around, walk, you know, watching you over social media, under fake accounts, just following you and all type of stuff. I'm hearing if this was a relationship, you know, whoever you were last with in a relationship, they know how loyal you are. And they don't want anyone else to get that, you know, loyalty that they had, that they had, you know, betrayed, backstabbed. So they sat back and wanted to slip you in the reverse. Could be because this Queen of Cups is a mother. Could be because you have a child by this person. And they didn't want you to move forward and thought they would use a child. So you wouldn't move forward. This didn't do nothing but make you become an emperor or empress. Come out on top. As this person hadn't slipped their self in the reverse. Strength in the reverse. Ain't no telling what they hadn't did to betray you after you walked away with this Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is about curses and hexes. This person could have placed a Ten of Swords on them for ten more generations to go. Trying to slip you in the reverse. All because they didn't want you to move forward after they had to betray you and backstabbed you. And you didn't do nothing but be loyal to this person, committed to this person, a hair fine to this person. Always doing for this person and giving this person advice. And the strength of the reverse, they could have slipped their life in the reverse. And don't have long to live. It's like they're sitting back constantly doing stuff because they don't want to lose this person that they can trust. But you couldn't even trust this person. They've already lost you and they don't get that. They're not even protected. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, and they're standing at a two of Wands stalemate in life. Not being able to make a proper decision. Not knowing which way to go. Because remember, you did everything for this person. Or these people. I'm hearing this multiple people. Just a lot of people that you walked away from. So it could have been a relationship. Family. Different friends. Everybody that you were associated with took your kindness for weakness. And you were loyal to these people. They only trusted you. And they didn't want to be blocked off. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're someone that's very committed. You're committed to people out the gate. Because you want the same in return. It's like, the way I grew up is that, you know, you get what you put out. My grandparents will always say, you know, you give like you you give like you want to give. I mean, you want to be gave to. You literally like it's basically equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. So if you want somebody to show you love, you're supposed to show it back. And that's how you know a lot of people were raised, and they were showing love constantly, and they weren't getting anything in return. That could have been a lesson that you had to learn. 
I know it was a lesson that I had to learn, showing too much love and being too loyal. And you don't judge people for who they are, but they secretly are intimidated by your character, who you are. And you don't even know this as you're genuinely showing love to these people. It's like a secret of, you know, betraying you. But you had to go through that because you didn't know that people that you had been placed around was at, under, at a ten of swords with you under a curse and hex. And it was, a, you know, a curse and hex that, that needed to be broken up off of you. A generational curse that people never knew. Yeah, towers here. A lot of people are dealing with an overflow of bad choices for whatever they did to you. Whatever change that they wanted you to go through, destruction, crisis, or damage for walking away from them, for chasing after whatever it is you want out of life, for having confidence for your future. They're sitting back going through tower moments, dealing with an overflow of bad choices. Yeah, they sat back and did a lot of stuff over and over again. A lot of these people are dealing with abandonment issues, nine of wands. They haven't healed stuff that they had to went through when they were a child. And they thought they would sit back and keep you at this nine of wands, never ending cycle, projecting their energy off onto you as you were healing, trying to help them heal, giving them advice to heal, spiritually teaching them. And they betrayed you and backstabbed you. Wanted you pit down at the ten of swords for trying to help them. Yeah, that's why you ended up ghosting a lot of people. The hermit card is here. You're someone that's very wise. You have a lot of wisdom, inner knowing, inner knowledge. And you went within to investigate and started cleansing yourself. Found out you were an old soul. And you had to detach from a lot of people. You had to win in hermit mode. Ghosted a lot of people. You don't. Even, you wasn't even on the internet. You just ghosted the world. Yeah, and it had you in this King of Wands energy, Queen of Wands energy, chasing after every, every whatever it is that you want out of life with a heavy passion, standing up, being confident, and leading your own life, taking action for whatever it is that you wanted out of life, attracting a lot of attention that you weren't even trying to as you were in harmony mode, not even around people. So it's like the more and more you set back and focused on yourself, minding your business, a lot of people were intimidated by that more and wanted to pin you down for harsh, painful endings. All because you were in this hustler energy. After wasting so much time in a lesson that you didn't even know that you were learning. With people that you would least suspect that you were just pouring out love to. And you weren't getting anything back. 